right, welcome back to your balanced diet of teletainment um, this um, morning. After having that heated conversation with Chukudu Ezugu consigning June 12, we get another cadet person who goes tell us one thing where they actually do for inside Wobodo, Nigeria to create an impact. Um, good to have you, Paul, in the house. Thank you. Good to yeah. have you too. Welcome. Yeah. So tell us, Paul, waiting, waiting exactly be that way they do, where they give us some, um, or they help the economy and Nigeria in general at this point in time. What exactly do you do? Um, I'm a photographer. Okay. Um, I take pictures of people, basically. Uh, I'm a passion photographer. So now, now, now something where you go learn for inside school, or now your passion now you be follow at this point. What do you read for school? What do I read for school? Now English. So now passion be this. Yes, I started in 2009 um, after I went for an NGO project in Abuja. Um, I can't talk to you, okay. From today, I'll begin to shoot documentary photography. Well, I've been like saying they use bedroom voice they talk this morning. I've been uh, I never wake up finished. You never wake up finished. But I had a shy well, well, oh. ah, what you because will you won't come make people come to sleep because the way you can't be like saying they talk to your girlfriend and I'm your girlfriend and you're just using your bedroom voice for me, you know what I'm uh, saying? Uh, what you will go do now? <laughs> what you will go do? So but really you talk so you read English for inside school and yes. then but you still come outside. Why what, now English was it what you wanted to read for school or you no. just what you worry for school? Law. Aha. Yes. But when you write jam like three times. Bam. Anyone would then give you go carry. But, all right, quickly. <laughs> now, what you actually catch my attention on Instagram? Now, when yeah. I see a particular um, trend in pictures, talking about three, uh, you about to embark on taking 300 pictures. Mm. And I wanted to know more. Tell us more about why you go on this mission and what you hope to accomplish at the end of this. Okay, it's about the 300 project. And um, let me give you, you know, a bit of background. Um, last year, I spoke to, I had the opportunity to meet some victims of trafficking okay. or they say we should call them survivors okay. survivors of trafficking and i think after that time my my mind just changed because i was a bit judgmental as a person you know anytime where i see person ah not with these people now they won't travel now you know we always have that impression mm -hmm. uh, but after that you know conversation where i get that last year i said man as a photographer with a bit of influence what did i feel do as a person to raise more awareness on this matter. You know that last year when this whole Libya, Libya. thing starts, mm -hmm. everybody, you know, because it was trending, everybody they tweet, hey, stop this, stop this. Then when the matter died down, everybody don't keep quiet. But nothing don't change now. Mm -hmm. It still they happen. So um, I asked myself, what thing I feel do as a person? I know if you go stop them for border, you understand? But as a photographer, you go get what I feel do to raise, you know, awareness. So that's where the idea came from. I said, okay, make I gather 300 people. Um, Who and, are those uh, people? Just everyday people? Yes, everyday women okay. of different ages. Before, I've been saying, I want you to shoot only women. You know, mm -hmm. mothers should come out and gather in these amazing portraits. Mm -hmm. Because the, they love, the, the world um, love art well, well. And the idea be say, when I feel gather, when I feel get people attention, say, ah, I want to do a record project to shoot 300 people. When people pay attention to it, they will pay attention to the issues. So it's more like doing, for example, uh, people working against cancer, maybe marathon mm -hmm. for cancer. Mm -hmm. So this is art for trafficking. And uh, this is just the foundation, basically, because we are not uh, saying that uh, with shooting 300 people, we'll just stop it automatically. Mm -hmm. But what we are saying is that the government will pay attention when you know, we are able to do this project. And of obviously, it's going to end, um, of course, it's going to end in an exhibition at oh, the end nice. of the day. How do you hope to get these 300 people? Um, you can nominate. So what I did was um, I discussed with uh, uh, Bimbo Akintola, the okay. actress. Okay. And, you know, she's part of the project. So we're just uh, going back and forth on ideas. She said, Paul, instead of getting these 300 women, just selecting randomly, get people to nominate. And that's what we're doing now. So to push the course yes. out there for everybody. Yes. To do, so which is so you can one. come out. Uh, you know, we've started this campaign where you can record a one-minute video, saying, "I want to nominate this person." But we are advising people to nominate. You know, normal everyday women. Don't go and nominate a person where we know if you're rich. Uh -huh. That counselor for your street, nominate them. Okay. That we do, or the nurse that is doing something to help our community. Nominate people that have been through you know, struggle or something. Those are the kind of people, survivors basically, of their everyday life. So when we gather these women together and, you know, we can do the best portraits the world has ever seen. Wow. 
Oh, I totally fantastic. like this. I, I, I really like this. And so far, when you start to the publicizers project, how many people don't actually nominate? Um, right now, we cannot. We started the nomination late last week. Okay. Uh, but initially, we're just doing campaigns. So we get celebrities to uh, support. Uh, currently, uh, we have so many of them, so many celebrities. I'm even overwhelmed by how they have responded. And uh, now for the nomination, we also have uh, some celebrities uh, jumping into the nomination. We are waiting for uh, Bimbo Akintala's video. It's coming out, okay. I think today or tomorrow. We've had uh, Chloe of Big Brother. We've had Anto of Big Brother. We now have normal people, you know, a lot of people nominating. Someone nominated from London yesterday, and her story was so touching. We even had to repost. Um, a lot of people are getting involved. We even went to, someone nominated somebody in Ikorudu, you know, a lady who has been through struggle. She's a single mom and all that. So we went to do a documentary in her place just to wow. document her, you know, basically. So it's going, it's going very well. So, so tell well. us how challenging this um, project on day so far so good, mm -hmm. because I know so we just hear the sweet part. We I know, hear right? the we can say, oh, yeah. yeah. But tell us the struggle where you go through just to get to this point where you mm. now. So. Um, I started this project last year. A lot of people don't know. But not just now we, you know, everybody begin here of this project. We obviously know Nigeria now, not the money matter. Mm. You know, this project, moving, doing this, you go meet sponsors. Sponsors go to tell you, say, eh, me, I don't understand this kind of thing, you know? So that has been the challenge, you know, uh, being able to get people to understand this project very well. Mm. And it's a very expensive project. Mm -hmm. To say I know Sina, so you go cost. Ah! How expensive? Because people are just nominating. So where yeah. does the expenses Okay, come? the expense. Now, bringing 300 women together is we the expense. To do documentaries. Now, following, for example, Lisi Kurudu will go. Now, money now. Because sure. I took a team, a you know, transportation and all that. And now, these 300 women, we are styling 300 of them. Oh, so you style them? Yes. Doing we are going makeup, to dress, we are doing makeup, them. hair. Though we are trying to get volunteers. And people don't, they come out now and say, please, oh, you know, want to be a part of it. You know, then the publicity part of it, moving from one place to another, they will tell you for Abuja, say one meeting day, you're wrong, go do one meeting, story, come back, is a lot. We are planning a workshop, we want to do outreach in schools, because it's not just about uh, taking picture of 300 people. We need young women to be aware of this thing where they happen for Nigeria, trafficking. And um, we don't want to ignore it this time. So, that's, I like this. That's so tell Nigerians how you want them to participate in this project. All right, um, where the camera? Um, look at that, yes. All right, so um, we're telling Nigerians to please participate in this project. And how you can do it is do a one-minute video and nominate a 300 woman, one of the women you want to be part of the 300 project. Note, you cannot nominate your mom. Self. <laughs> Why can't you nominate your mom? <laughs> because everybody go nominate their mama. Don't know, like at, your least mama. Seven, at least seventy so to eighty percent. So after the video, who, they go, they go, who do they tag or who do they or, follow? Where do they, where, post where do they post it? All right, post, post it on your page. Where Facebook? On Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. But always use the hashtag the three hundred project. Oh. Hashtag the hashtag the three hundred project. project. That's Fantastic. It. Very Fantastic. nice one. We did actually beautiful. speak with Paul Okonu and Aim does bring out this amazing initiative to photograph 300 women. And in the long run, this now actually to send the message of trafficking of women and children. Very nice one. Please follow him on top Instagram. What's your Instagram handle? Paul Okonu. That's Paul U K O N U. Okay. And also follow the 300 project. Uh -huh. Ah, the very important, the 300 project. Very important. Nominate someone, please. Nominate that um, woman with the cell um, tomatoes. Nominate the one with the cell pepper. Who knows? They actually need this particular time to yes. just feel beautiful within yes. themselves. And, and, and then special. plenty goodies go there for them on that day. Plenty. Wow. plenty. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. That's amazing. Thank yeah. you so much, Paul Okono. Thank you so and much. Very nice initiative. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.